Early morning, Dover Eastern docks, and the P&O Ferry's Pride of Kent is outward bound for Calais on a round trip with a difference. Today below decks, a 15-year-old champion has challenged the ship's chef to a quick game of table tennis in the crew mess. Stay right While up on the bridge, two teenage water sports stars are helping the captain to steer a safe passage through the English Channel. They're just part of a team of five very special young sportsmen and women from Kent who are aiming for gold at the London Olympic and Paralympic Games in 2012. Nathan Milgate from Herne Bay, British shooting star preparing for Beijing. Vicky Silk from Folkestone, world-class athlete in javelin, shot and discus. Hannah Moon from Deal, one of Britain's top junior rowers. Chloe Martin from Tunbridge, outstanding international dinghy sailor. And Lewis Gray from Benenson, ranked number one in table tennis. The youngsters are celebrating being given a Kent County Council-backed five-year sponsorship programme that will cost its sponsors, P&O, £75,000. But will give the athletes a sporting chance to continue their training, free from financial worries. Working in partnership with the Kent County Council, we felt we we're a big national company, but also even bigger when it comes down to Kent and we're a big employer. We really felt that we wanted to put something back into the community, and what better way than actually highlight some budding athletes, watch them grow and prosper all the way through to the London Games in 2012. It's not household names, hopefully they will be by the end of their career. It's the ones which we felt have got great potential um, and we just really want to see these athletes come through and do something for Kent and we want to be part of that. The athletes and their families pay a high price to pursue their chosen sport, so any financial support is a bonus. Each receives £3,000 a year from the P&O grant. It will make a big difference towards my training expenses, which is the, the big thing for me. Um, but it will also help towards equipment costs, like a, a new shooting wheelchair that I have to pay for, which is £3,000 worth, so it will go towards that, which will again make a big difference for my um, performances in the long term. Um, it means that I can, without any difficulties, gain more experience from competitions, um, train with the right equipment and have easy access to my athletics club without having to worry about money or anything like that. I really love the sport and dedicate so much time to it and with so much hopefully potential to come it's nice to get your grant and know that other people also believe that you can get to the top. No, this was a, quite a surprise because obviously they were selecting from over 400 people and then to bring it down to five and me being one of them five was, was really good. Um, it's just amazing. It's a really good help for my parents on travel and accommodation places and get some extra training. Um, yeah. Kent County Council helped P&O to identify which of the county's young athletes should be considered for the £3,000 a year award. Right, to be a top performer, it requires not just dedication and commitment and real enthusiasm. It, it also requires a great deal of talent, parental support, good quality coaching, quality facilities, sports science and sports medicine. But in addition to that, it does require financial support for the purchase of equipment, clothing, travel to events and coaching fees. And P&O Ferries has very generously provided financial support to youngsters. The support is incredibly important to these youngsters in giving them a, a boost to say, you are good, you have got amazing potential, please stick at it and we will follow your progress at the Olympic Games in 2012. As the ferry prepares to berth, the five young athletes can celebrate being able to set their sights on gold over the white cliffs, knowing their Olympic dreams could soon come true.